All right, so I was going to uh, rotate my tires on the camper, and uh, I have one tire, the passenger side front rear front tire on the trailer uh, was wearing, the inside was wearing differently than the other four. Uh, when I was coming up north from southern Florida, I had the uh, left driver's side rear blew out on me for some reason the sidewall blew out on it. You can, I think I made a short or something on that. I don't know. I'll put some pictures of that in here. Uh, but anyway, I was going to check this one and check the bearing. I thought the bearing might be a little loose, so I was going to... I jacked it up, and I got the tire off the ground, and I spun it, and it stopped. And you can see it sitting back here in the back right now. A belt separated on it, so that probably has something to do with the uneven wear pattern that's going on. I, I don't know how long it's been separated, but uh, I'm running up to Discount Tire right now, and we'll see if they can put a new one on there. I got steel valve stems, or aluminum, excuse me, valve stems, but I'll have them put on this tire. So then I'll have uh, two new tires on there. And uh, when I get back, hopefully I'll have time. I leave tomorrow. Um, I'll jack up the other two and check the other two, but I'll still check the, I want to check the outer bearing on this one and see if there's anything wrong with them. Um, they're Goodyear Endurance, so I've had them for three years. They're about due for a replacement for time wise. All right, here we are. So you can see the tire's square and then it rounds up right there. See that? This is where I, when I spin it, you can see it rubbed on the ground. So then it goes back to flat tread. It's a couple spots. There's one there too. Actually, it's that whole section there. So, all right, here we are. Discount tire. Let's get them fixed. I got my aluminum bell stem they're going to repair too. So, looks like it's been like that for a while. That's the majority of the tread wear is right there. You can see it bulges out right here too. All right, let's go get it. Painless. It's going to take them a little while. They got a bunch of cars here. So, 3083. They're going to put the uh, new valve stem in there for me, so I'm going to go grab me a drink and then I'll come back and pick up the tire. So it'll be like an hour and a half or so, so we made it back. Oh, I got to put this sticky mess on. I got the aluminum stem in. I just made sure the air pressure was up. I want to knock this dust cover off. Just to look at this bearing here. Come on off. Well, that could be a little loose. I'm going to pull that cotter pin out and see if that can be tightened up. Let me go grab some tools for that. Okay. I got her glove. Fingers go in the holes. Is that the right way? Yep. Let's uh, pop this off here. Let me get a bigger, bigger wrench here. Got a bigger, bigger persuader. All right, so tight her up. Of course you can't, when it's that tight, you can barely, barely move it, so back it off. And finger tight. And I think that's one tighter than it was. I don't have a new, Potter pin here. All right, the grease looks good in there to me. It's been about a year. Things are dragging a little bit. I think I'm gonna jack the rest of these tires up and check them. Oh, there's a mosquito in my ear. So I have the bottle jack and I have a, a saddle that I put up in between there that I can jack on so it spreads the weight out. Bottle jack isn't just pushing right on the axle there. They're still arching this axles I can see so that's good but all right let me get this uh this tire put on put this cap back on dusty we don't need these let me get this tire over here cap there's a skeeter in my ear again I don't have a torque wrench either while wow, there's lots of skeeters come on oh. awkward position there we go much better mucho 
just scout them. Just have them torque these. All right. That's on there. Let's get this thing off and we'll check. Check this guy for these indents are normal. There's another indent, indent. Oh, I think there's right here. Can you see where that bulges out right here? This one's gonna have to be replaced. That's from hitting a uh, pothole or something. This one had it too, the original one, so they both probably got whacked by the same pothole. So this one is gonna have to be replaced. That's belt damage. I'm not even gonna worry about this one right now. Let's go roll over to the other side. Check out the other one over there. Whoops. Didn't mean to hit you in the face. All right. Under for a little gator here out over here. Yeah, they're up on the... Can you see them on the log? Oh, some fish down here. Fat little gator. Whoop. Help if I looked at them. Let's see if I can zoom in anymore. There's three of them over here. That's just one of them right there. All right, let's go look at this other tire. Somebody comes out here and lights tires on fire in their fire pits for them. Burns the place up, makes a huge mess. Under here, this front one has been replaced. Wait, this is the one that's been replaced. The right rear. <laughs> wow, the tread on that one is amazing. It's this one up here. It has good tread too. Look around on here. That's a normal it's feeling around here. That's a normal. Indents are okay. That's a normal. That's a normal. Yeah, that one looks fine. Whoops. Tread wear looks good. Oh, there's lots of no CMs. So we have one more tire that needs to be replaced. I don't think I'll be able to get it off and get it up there, but oh, let's see. I'm gonna shut this off. Oh wait, it's 5.47, they close at six. I could pull it off. And I'll throw it in the truck and I'll take it up first thing in the morning. I haven't changed that out. All right, let me get this off the jack here. Well, I got that one off. That's in the truck, so tomorrow, I guess, first thing in the morning, I'll... Man, these no seams are everywhere. Get away from me. I'll run these up, or this one up, have them fix that one, and then I'll... I might as well get buy another one, because that fourth one is good, but... I might as well just put all four on here, so I'll... Come back down, put that one on, take the other one off, take that up, and then replace that one. And then I'll have four new tires on the game plan for that fourth tire because it's not damaged. I'm gonna drop the spare and I'll take the spare. I'll drop the spare and I'll have them put that undamaged tire onto the spare because right now it's got one of the uh, China Bomb West Lakes on it, which is all right for a spare, but if I have an undamaged West, uh, Goodyear, I'd rather have that on there. So I'll get this first one repaired, take the second one up, have them swap that and put a new tire on there and then we'll be done with that. So that's the plan. So I got the, I got all the tires replaced. I moved the good one to the spare and I got two new good ones. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick all that stuff on the trailer right now. I looked at the other two bearings and they look good. I don't, I'm not gonna need to do anything to those. Uh, just yet, maybe in a couple months. But uh, let's get these tires put back on the trailer. Get the spare, whatever. <laughs> Let me get that other tire in here. So I lowered this thing down a little bit last night. Yeah, that looks like plenty. Plenty enough. Like a lot. Goodyear's on this side. The spare. I took the China bomb off and put the Goodyear up there. That one blew out. The sidewall blew out on the Goodyear on the way up from South Florida two weeks ago. So that's a new one. And then I bought that new one. So now I got four new tires on here. 
All right, let's get this thing out of here. Groany moany. I need longer arms. There we go. Let me get my jack from the truck underneath that one. Don't need that. Okay. Oh, shoot. I did saddle up from there. This is just a saddle that you weld on the top up there. I use it to jack. Uh, put it on the inside, in between, wherever. Works like a charm. Okay, let's go over to the other side. Here we are. Side two. Where do you guys want to sit? You want to sit there? Yeah. This is the fun side. No odd smells over here, so that's good. Let's see. Whoops. There's backwards. Okay. The cap. Okay. Whoop. Okay. Let's see my guys. Might have to go this block out of here real quick. I'm gonna have to put it back under the So I used to use the ones that you would roll up on. Blocks. I got the Camco ones, the yellow ones. These are easy, right? So if you need, if you only need to go up half an inch, use one on one axle, and then the equalizer is dividing it. So it only goes up a half an inch. So here, I needed to go up an inch and a half. Well, first, I guess if you need to go up an inch, you put one under each tire. Inch and a half, you put a double stack under one and then a single under the other. If I needed to go two inches, I'd do a double here and a double there. Works out every time. All right, so that's up. Let's get that jack out of here. I use the x chalk. so when I, is the block? I'm not gonna x chalk this right now, I don't think. Cause like right here, you can see if you use a block and you're on the blocks, use the wheel wedges. You can't really get to your wheels, so that's, that's when I'll use the X chalk. Otherwise, I'll use the blocks, the wheel chalks. Anyway, all right, let's get this thing off of this and back down to the grain. Okay. That's gonna wrap up the tires, I guess. Put this stuff away. Uh, I'll do uh, I'll do a video on these bearings when I go to replace them for you guys. If anything, I, I'll probably use. Well, I don't even think I'll use that grease circ on the front for the easy lube because I don't know what grease is in there. And I've been using red and tacky. So if I regrease these things, I'm gonna that castle nut off and pop that off, and then just hand pack those bearings. All right, guys. There it is again. Subscribe, thumbs up. Thanks, I appreciate it. it helps me out. Take care.